everyone, Stock Mo here today, and it is gonna be hopefully a better day than yesterday. I was quite under the weather. Still feeling a little bit off, but feeling a little bit better, and we're gonna get to it. So all I'm ever gonna ask you to do is hit that subscribe button down below, hit that bell for notifications, hit all. That way you'll be a part of the community. I also have a link down below to Weeble. You'll get two free stocks right now. Put a hundred bucks in there, and you're gonna have a shot at $1,850 in free cash. That's what I'm talking about. I get one free share because I'm an affiliate. It's your way of helping me. And we both get free stocks, man. You know, you never know what we're gonna get. So I do have uh, one other one. It's over to my Patreon. I'll link down in the description to my Patreon. I'm starting a brand new portfolio. My goal is to, I call this the million dollar portfolio because my goal is to get it up to a million dollars. And I'm hopefully gonna do that over the next few years, but it's gonna be a fun ride. And I expect to grow that portfolio dramatically. Uh, and starting this week, I'm gonna be adding some stocks in there. Like I said, I was a little under the weather yesterday, so I didn't get to start when I wanted to, but it's okay, because the, the market ended up coming down a little bit, and it gave me some opportunities to take advantage of some lower prices now on some of those stocks. So, uh, what we're gonna talk about today, though, big news, this is it, day one, Arc X coming out, and they have their list. I have the complete list here, I'm gonna show you that list, and I'm gonna go over the top 10 stocks in their holdings, and we're gonna look at that through and tip ranks. So I have a link down below for that too, but we're gonna take a look and see what all the analysts think of their top 10 and go from there and, and see what we have. So stick around. I think you're gonna like what I got for you. All right, we're back. We know what's going on. We're in Studio B. This is a Studio B, like I said, Studio A, for those that haven't joined me in a while. This is, my daughter is down there in quarantine. She has COVID, and I am now up in Studio B, which is not fancy like Studio A. It is a wall with a cat picture on it, and that cat picture is the original cat picture that I put on Studio A. I did take that with me before we used, turned it into Quarantine Central for COVID. So hopefully everybody's feeling well out out there be careful my friends uh first thing i want to talk about though is this here it is folks this is it this is the arc space exploration and innovation arc x as it is known and i'm excited to see this and i can't wait to figure out how well this is going to do and so as we go through this you can see what it is made up of and they have uh, uh you know some of the surprising ones john deere or deere and company i'm not quite sure what uh, a lot of these companies will have involved somehow in this space uh, ETF and ARC Space Exploration and Innovation. You know, I, I was reading an article, I forget what it was about. It was like a, they have that asteroid out there between Mars and Jupiter, I think they said or something, where it was worth multiples of the entire world economy in that one asteroid. And that shows you the amount of money that's going to be made in, sp in space exploration. Mining is the one I'm looking at, space mining, getting out there and being able to grab an asteroid or whatever, pull it back, get the, the rare metals, if you will, and everything else, and just cash in. But it, you know that's not here nor there because we gotta pay to get there. And that's why we're looking at these companies here. It's not so much just the company. It gets there, it's the, and it's the old, I always think of 1849 when they had the gold rush out there in California, and they said it wasn't the gold miners that got rich. Yeah, sure, some of them hit it. You know, everybody was going out there by the thousands, but they all needed equipment. And the, the, the companies that got rich was the store owner that sold the shovel and the pans and the clothes. They're the ones that got rich. It was the people who sold the equipment, and that's why we're looking at this. So if we're gonna watch Arc X, we're gonna take a look at their stocks, but here you go. Some of the ones that I did notice, uh, <clears throat> JD, Dot com on there, Lockheed Martin, of course, Boeing, of course, we knew that. NVIDIA, I thought would be a big one, and they did make it. Deer was a surprising to me. Amazon, I wasn't quite sure. I do know Amazon has their hands in a lot of different things out there. And Teradyne, there's Google Alphabet, if you will, and Teledyne, <clears throat> and then we can keep going down, Airbus. And so they have Alibaba in there. That made my day because I, I do like my Alibaba stock. I've been saying that I thought Alibaba would do well. 
and, and we will see. Netflix, you're gonna need Netflix when we're in space, folks. So somehow Netflix made it into the Arc X space exploration, so I'm not quite sure the connection there. Honeywell, that, that makes sense. Semiconductor, TSM, uh, Taiwan Semiconductor, that makes sense. So there's some in here that I totally get, and then others, of course, that I don't quite get. So Atlas Crest Investment Corp, oh, interesting. So there is all, all, I think it was 39 of them, I believe it was, yep, 39 of them. I'm gonna go through the top 10 of them real quick using tip ranks to see what the analysts think of these before it became huge and they come out and changing their prices because now it's gonna have a lot of up, upward motion and this and that. Let's go ahead and start with the first one, and this is Trimble. You can see this right here, 7582, upside potential of 4%. And I'm just gonna go over these to give you an idea what the analysts are looking at. They're gonna have some higher ones, some lower ones, but tip ranks, if you like this, like I said, I got a link down in the description, highly recommend it. It's a good way to check your answers after you're done doing your due diligence. It puts it all in one place. The next one, the 3D printing ETF print, 37. There is no analyst stuff here, just showing you the chart. Had a nice run over the last year. Uh, you know, it got a little, little spiky there, if you will, and that's come back down to normal. I think we're gonna continue on with a good run as we move forward, especially with uh, a lot of this attention getting paid to this. Kratos Defense, K-R-A, well, let's see. Let's go with K-T-O-S. And we can see where this is going. And $28, only upside potential of 2%. Like I said, I think a lot of these are gonna get some added exposure. Look at me, I'm talking about them. So there's gonna be a lot of people talking about these. These are the top 10 holdings in the ARC X fund for those wondering. The next one is $208 and we got LHX 2.54% upside potential. Not really ringing any bells for me for the upside potential. You know, I'm looking for the big ones like this. JD coming in at 36.30% uh, upside potential. That's the kind of gains I like. When I'm adding into my growth portfolios, I like to have at least 20, 25% upside potential for that year if I can get it over the next 12 months. JD.com gives us that and we'll see how it makes out. Next one, KMTUY, just putting it out there, letting you see this was, I'm going in order, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, biggest holding in there and it'll give you an idea. You can see some of the things though. Citigroup gives it a buy and we can go from there. LMT, next one up three point, or I should say upside potential 3.74. Nothing really screaming huge, uh, you know, huge. These are established companies, Lockheed Martin. You're not gonna see this thing doubling overnight like some of these other growth companies out there that we've invested in. But look at some of these numbers, 445, 334, 443. So it could easily get over 400 and go up 10, 20%, maybe even 30%. And we'll see what happens with that one. IRDM, and you got a communications company here, and it has a downside potential of 2.34% based on analysts. And there is one or two above there, but that shows you that. And next, Thales, and this is, uh, that's it, Thales. You can see it right there. And I don't have any price target. Well, there's some price targets right here. You can see it in there. So another 10 to 20% upside potential. Boeing, BA, and you got this at 250, down a half a percent. And of course, I'll show you this one more time because this is it. This is the end of the game. And you can see how they're gonna be putting them in there, market value of the holdings as they get this started. This trades today, folks. If you're interested in getting into ARC X, I like the stocks. I showed you the top 10. 11 is NVIDIA, Spirit, uh, Aerosystems, Deer, A Amazon, Teradyne. Google basically, Alphabet. So there's uh, uh, there's Garmin. I think we might need some uh, outer space location things. So maybe that's why that's in there. Uh, I'm always curious to see how they get them in there and why they're in there. But there you go, that's it. That's the ARK Invest and that that's, uh, I'll be watching these to see how these stocks change in the percentage. But I like to go over the top 10 because the top 10 make a big chunk of this probably roughly 40, a little over 40% of the entire fund is made up of these top 10 stocks. Gives you an idea if you wanna kind of match it without buying into the fund, you can kind of look at the top 10 and go that route if you wanna be uh, a higher risk and that's something you can do. So this is what I got for you. I'm gonna be, be watching this and seeing how this makes out. 
and seeing if it gets the attention like RK did and some of the other ones and seeing how well it does. Now, I don't see a lot of high risk plays. I see a lot of uh, what I would expect is big corporations that are established and have good consistent growth. And that's where I'm seeing this and uh, I'm gonna be probably taking a little deeper look into this for my going forward portfolios, see what stocks here are not in any of the other ones and see some of the reasoning behind just fundamentally why they're getting into these. So that's what I got for you today. All I'm gonna ask you to do, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and more importantly, hit that Weeble link, man. Get two free stocks. You might get a shot at 1,850 bucks. You're gonna get two free no matter what. I get one. We're all gonna be celebrating. And uh, come over and join me at the Patreon. I got that new million dollar portfolio I'm gonna be starting this week. And uh, hopefully I'm feeling a little bit better here and <laughs> having a little bit more fun as the day goes on. Sorry, I'll be back to normal in the afternoon video. That I promise. You know, I'll have my normal bowling shirt on, having fun, and just maybe Tesla Cat will join us again as well. And what else do we got? Anything else? See, oh yeah, tip ranks. If you haven't done that, I like this tip rank stuff. Hopefully you enjoy it. Highly recommend it for anybody serious about taking their investing to the next level. So that's all I got for you. Let's get out there and make some money.